Hey guys, so today I wanted to tell y'all some stories. So I was going through this big box that I have from all of my years in school. And so I found all of these notes and I'm going through them and like some of them have some really funny stories. So apparently this video is gonna be about drunk stories because I have more of those. I wanna start off with, I think, one of my favorite stories because it was in one of my favorite places. So last year, I got the chance, I think it was last year, last year, 2016, I got the chance to go to New Orleans with my job. Let me tell you something. I love New Orleans. I love it. I love the music. I love Bourbon Street. I love the city itself. Like, it's, a, it's really nice. The people are super nice. Everybody's just super nice. So last year went to New Orleans and It was for I was working at Smoothie King And we had a convention or a conference or something like that. I don't really remember but the conference is over like at mm, Five six and then after that you could you're free to go roam whatever the city explore city so we end up going to Bourbon Street and me and my co-workers and everyone that I was with decided to just start drinking. So apparently in New Orleans, they have these huge containers of alcohol. Like, like they serve alcohol in fish bowls and they serve alcohol in giant, huge, just so we're drinking, right? We go to this one pub, one bar. I don't remember the name of it. If I remember the name, I'll insert the name. Um, we go into this one bar, and they're playing really good music. Everyone's having a, a really good time. And then me and my other coworker decide they start taking shots, right? But they come in like little like. Um, little test tubes. They're really like small tubes, right? So the waitress comes over she puts all the tubes in her mouth and then she grabs your head and goes like this So you're just drinking drinking and drinking and drinking So we end up going to this one place called cat's meow. It's a karaoke bar. And it's awesome I love it. If you're ever in New Orleans go to cat meow We're in this bar and they have a little balcony at the top so so we go to the balcony and, and we see people throwing beads from all the other balconies so i go inside i tell the bartender like hey you have some beads like hook it up you know so he, he comes out he hands me huge just like like that of beads so i start giving them out and then we just start throwing we start throwing them to people in the street they were trying to flash us you know but i was like it's all good it's all good don't want to see that just here's some beads whatever all kind of drunk so then we decide we decide this one song comes on oh i'm dying to remember the name of the song but i don't remember we go on stage that is right we go on stage we start dancing on stage with a bunch of girls and me and my coworker just we don't care we don't have a care in the world one of the best times oh but i forgot to mention me my coworker my manager and the store owners yeah I did that it's a good story though and then after that we went to a pizza place and I didn't remember this the next night but the at the pizza place I kept asking for more and more pizza very loudly I was told this the next morning you know because I didn't remember nothing Last year, again last year, last year was a good year. Last year, um, me and a group of friends went out to this place, this local, I don't wanna say club, I don't know, bar, club, whatever. We go to this place and we're drinking, we're having a good time. We hadn't hung out in a long time, so you know, we were all enjoying ourselves. So it comes to a point in the night where you just start caring about everybody else, right? 
So that was me, like at 11. I didn't care about anybody else. Inside, they have like a band playing a bunch of cumbias and colombianas and just Spanish music. And then they have outside a DJ. So I like to go outside and inside, outside and inside, whatever. Um, so I'm outside. You know, inside for a drink or I don't know, maybe I have to go to the restroom. And my friend is ordering drinks. I don't notice what's happening while we're waiting. So then I turn around because I hear a song I really, really like, right? Inside. I turn around and I'm telling my best friend, come on, like, let's go dance. And I don't know what. I'm oblivious to what's happening behind me. I don't know, in the span of like 10 minutes, my, my friend that was with me, he comes up to me and he's like, what are you doing? Like, what the hell? And I was like, what happened? And he's like, you literally just bumped that girl and she was about to turn around and smack you. And I was like, <gasps> smack me? Yes. She wanted to smack me because she had just gotten her drink and I spilled it out of her hand. And you know, it's very hard to get drinks at clubs. So I ended up get, like, giving her her money back for the drink or whatever. And I was dancing, so I didn't really care, but I did that. You're not sorry, I was having a good time. So here's another one. Uh, this one was, I think, my senior year of high school. I mean, I was 21. Me and my friends decided to go to spring break to to 6th Street in Austin, right? So it's just bit this street in Austin that's full of clubs. So we stayed for the whole weekend. So we go really prepared. We, I think we bought, no, a 12 party pack of Mike's Hard Lemonade. I don't know. We like that stuff. And then another, uh, another friend of mine took wine. And then, I don't know, we just took a bunch of stuff. And so, while we're getting ready, we like to drink. And we like to drink. We're getting ready. And finally, it's like 11-ish, probably like 10.30-ish. We're leaving the hotel. And I don't feel, you know, drunk. I feel all right. We go downtown, and me and my friend, we go up to them and we're like, hey, hey, woo, you know? You know, typical. So we go up to them and we're there dancing and all of a sudden, I lose my balance. I lose my balance and fall on my ass. There's like 10 guys behind me, the, everyone, it was like the world stopped because even the mus musicians stopped playing. So they, they're like, oh my God, are you okay? And I was like, I'm good, I'm good. So I get my ass up. My friend's laughing at me. My other friend's laughing at me. There's some girls over there laughing at me. I don't care. I start dancing. Here's the kicker. Next day, my friend that was laughing the most at me falls too. I don't know if it was in the same place, but she does fall. And, I, and then I was laughing. And I was like, see? Karma. Karma. Yeah. Speaking of falling, I want to tell you guys the story of my first night ever, ever, at a party. In 2013, my senior year, that is right, I didn't go to a party until my senior year of high school. Earlier that day, I decided to get a tattoo on my foot. No one knew about it. My parents didn't find out about that tattoo until like five months later. I'm not saying go out and do that. And my, my friends, hit me up and they're like, hey, like there's a party today, like we want you to come out. And I always want, I never, I was never into that. So I was like, no, 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 like I don't want to. Um, but they insisted and I said yes. We ended up going to this party, right? Well, first we went to this one get together. It was really weird, we didn't know anybody. We ended up leaving. Then we went to a party where we actually knew people. I'm not lying. It was literally like an hour into the party. And you guessed it, cops show up. So everyone just like starts running. There's people behind me starting running and then everyone in front of me started running and my friend's like, come on, go into the house. They drag me into the house, we're in the house, we're in the room. And they're like, get down, everyone shut up, and I don't know what. So we're in the room and we're all like this, right? Trying to hide. 
and i don't know why the everything was like off everything was closed like no whatever but then there's girls behind me and i would have shut up and i was like y'all need to shut up because this is my first party and i don't know what to do whatever they start banging on the door but like banging on the door like the hardest pounds you've ever heard like that so i'm like oh my god like oh my god my parents weren't even in town my brother was left in charge of me like mess so cops show up and they're like everyone just leave like get out of here and i don't know what and me and my friend we start hauling it i mean running i am in heels like this big and you guessed it my tattoo bandage blew off so we're running and we're running and then there's this cop like fighting with one of my friends i was like oh my god friend bye and then my other friends over there and we're all running to my other friend's car so we're in the car and she's like no 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 like don't get in and we're like what <laughs> and we're like please open the door like please we need to get out of here and she's like no no so i'm like they're trying to open the door so we get in the car right as soon as we get in the car the, the police is like hey like i don't know what and i was like just go so we end up leaving and my friend's like fucking stepping on the gas and we're leaving and i'm like just slow down like just slow down like just let's see what happens like i don't know what because then we look suspicious more than we already are because we're just four random girls in a car all dressed up like if we're going i don't know where so I end up calling my brother. I'm like, hey, like this party, like I don't know what. And he said, you know what? Like just relax and don't go back into that neighborhood and just try to get home. I was like, okay, like I'm fucking scared. But yeah, I don't remember. There was a reason we had to go back, but we didn't. We just left. We took off. We went home. So there's a lesson to be learned from that. Don't get tattoos the day before you go out. So guys, I want to tell you why I can't drink Patron anymore. Like that's it. I smell that and I'm like, <coughs> right? So I don't know what year this was, probably my senior year or the year after I graduated. I don't know. I ended up going to this place that is now closed. It was, it was called Sweet 21. So me and my friend, we ended up going to this place. We hadn't drank it before, nothing, nothing, nothing. So we get there. Soon as I'm walking in the door, one of my bartender friends, he's like, hey, what's up? I have a shot for you. And I was like, oh, cool. What is it? He's like, Patron. And I was like, sure. Right. So then I'm walking more, walking and walking and walking. And there was inside the dance floor and then there was outside. So we're inside and we're like, hey, like you want to drink or whatever? And then the bartender's like, hey, like I have these shots. Like you don't want them? And I was like, why not? Right? Take another one. Then we go outside, and that's where all our friends are at. Having a good time, we're talking, whatever. And they're like, oh, we just, you know, we just bought a round. Like, y'all want a drink? And I was like, yeah, sure. And we're like, what did y'all order? He's like, Patron. Keeping count? One, two, this is my third one. So they're like, ah, oh, yeah, cheers, whatever, clink. And then there's, a, there's one left over, and they're like, oh, I don't want it, I don't want it. And I was like, don't worry about it, give it to me right so then later in the night i was like hey does anyone want a drink or whatever and i was like yeah like like i'll get it like what do y'all want and they're like let's get some shots and i was like really 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 so we ended up getting more shots needless to say i threw up and that is the last time that i drank patron so that is it guys those are some of my most awkward embarrassing fun stories of i don't know just drunk stories um this video might make me sound like an alcoholic but i'm really not i just don't remember a lot of stuff that i've done and i have to pull out the extremes you know like just the most extreme ones that stay engraved in your mind those are the ones i have to pull out it is what it is Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.